So, when I was making my Steven Jackson video, I kind of thought about another running back who was really great over my lifetime, and actually early in my lifetime. And that Lindanian Tomlinson, he is. So the Chargers are in a weird spot this year. They got rid of all the receivers. They got rid of Austin Eckler. They got Gus Bus. They also got J.K. Dobbins, which apparently the game cut. It's not a big deal. Anyway, DJ Chark, they drafted Lad McConkley. They also got Joe Walt. Um, yeah. They're a really good squad, to be honest. Um, they definitely lack in a lot of areas. I don't know how this video is going to go, guys. But I guess it's going to go in one direction. Because this is their schedule. It's not too difficult. Especially the fact that last year they um, had Justin Herbert going down. So they weren't able to do that good. So let's just start off with the Raiders week one. Raiders week one in LA. You know, LT played for the San Diego Chargers though. That's the problem. He didn't play for the Los Angeles Chargers. Little side note there. Fun fact. Anyway, I say that because week two... Week, sitting to week two is always the most frustrating because it takes so freaking long. For some reason, it always takes so freaking long to do. Alright, 3-0 and Chargers. Cool? How How is this a thing? Okay, they lose to the Chiefs. That's uh, that's about right. So, going into the bye week, because they do have one of those early bye weeks. Uh, let's take a look at player stats. Justin Herbro is absolutely trash this season. Fantastic. Um, LT, 400 yards and two touchdowns so far. So he's actually having a pretty good um, year, looks like. Well, right around the four games in. It's not fantastic, but it's not really that horrendously bad. All right. Let's just keep it rocking. They beat the Broncos. Now they're 4-1. and one. Usually they do kind of mediocre in my franchise series, the Chargers, that is. So I wouldn't expect this to be like any different. I expect it to be pretty good. Maybe not five and one good. That might be a little bit of the fact of LT. Who knows? But still. Okay. Let's just keep it rocking. Six and two. They played three and five Titans. Should be an easier matchup. Yep, they win that game. They played a seven and three Bengals. They lose to the 7-3 Bengals by one single point. They play the 6-5 Ravens. Back-to-back -back AFC North contest. That is difficult, man. They now play the 7-4 Falcons. What is going on in this franchise series? How do they match up against three playoff teams back-to-back-to-back? -to -back -to -back? Whew. All right. Let's just keep it going. They play the Buccaneers. They beat the Buccaneers. So they're already a playoff team at this moment in time. They currently are 11-4. They own the AFC West, which usually the Chiefs do that. But the Chiefs suck in this franchise, apparently. So they're going to go 13-4 or 12-5. They went 13-4, and, and they were the best team in the league and number one in the conference. Shout out to the LA Chargers, baby. All right, so number one in the conference. How well did LT do? Because was this all LT or was this just the Chargers being great? 27 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 3,600 yards. LT, 1,500 yards and nine touchdowns. Yeah, probably definitely a lot of, you know, really great things by LT. 265 yards and 5 touchdowns. So he had 14 total touchdowns and 17 100 yards. Actually, wait, was that? Um, yeah, seven, around 1,800 all-purpose yards he had. Almost 1,800 all-purpose yards, and he had 14 touchdowns. So I definitely feel like he probably helped out immensely when it came to these numbers. All right, for some reason, my game my controller stopped working so it has been a lot now um and he also showed up on the mvp list number seven shout out to lt man shows up number seven on the mvp list as well all right let's just see who wins the super bowl so they get a first round bye 
And let's see, they play the Ravens, who they lost to earlier in the season. They play them in the divisional round. And they lose to the Ravens. They lose to the Ravens 52-21. to How do you lose 52-21? to Like, three interceptions for Justin Herbo. That would help out a lot. Did they get defensive touchdowns or something? Like, bro, what's going on here? I have to just fathom what happened. No defensive touchdowns either. 52 to 21. Wow. After being the best team in the league by far. By far the best team in the league. 13 and 4 and you go one and done in the playoffs. Yep. That's about right. That's the charger it up. Charger it up, boys. Ravens play the Eagles in the Super Bowl, which the Ravens are always in my franchise here is in the Super Bowl. And they win. They win the Super Bowl. LT didn't win any awards somehow. 1,500 yards and doesn't win an award. Okay. I mean, compared to the other running backs in the league... I wouldn't be surprised if LT wasn't the best because usually CMC has like 1,800 yards, I feel like, in most franchise series. Um, Saquon has 16. So he had the second most rushing yards, same touchdowns as Saquon. Uh, how many yards does Saquon have receiving? Who did better, LT or Saquon? Um, Saquon. Wait, did I just completely miss his name? I did. Oh, wow. Yeah, Saquon did better. Saquon did definitely did better. All right, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.